Welcome back to Good Day State Line. Our next stop on the GDS Holiday Gift Guide is Velvet Buffalo inside Hotel Goodwin. Lane is yep. here. He's the sous chef. And he's going to do something fancy for us. Cool. Yeah, we're cooking uh, bucatini carbonara, Ooh, uh, which okay. we, the uh, version of this that we do is pretty traditional to okay. like its Italian roots. Um, so this first thing is, uh, this is guanciale fat. So guanciale is a cured pork jowl, so it's pig cheeks that are actually cured similar to uh, bacon, but minus the smoke flavor. Sounds so uh, when we cook these, you get guanciale fat. This is okay. the actual um, sliced meat that goes in there. Delicious also. So we're gonna let that just kind of warm up in there. Um, yeah, traditionally carbonara is usually only four or five ingredients, mm -hmm. so Guanciale, egg yolks, and uh, Pecorino Romano are like the main flavors, so we try to stick to that as authentically as we can. Um, so this is the sauce base, which basically has all of those things okay. um, already mixed into it. Um, another key to cooking pasta is using pasta water. Oh, as, told me that. Yep, it sort of helps <laughs> bind everything together. So once Grandma's this gets right. hot, we'll... Uh, lower the heat on this and because the sauce is egg based if this is too hot you'll end up with a pan of scrambled eggs and nobody wants that i mean so, maybe a different time of day yeah right <laughs> i guess this probably would be probably a, still be pretty good this probably would be a really good yeah. breakfast item um so once we get all that in there our pasta is done like i said this dish is super super simple so yeah, it's only quick, a couple things in here um and at this point, we're just kind of stirring this around until everything gets hot. Um, and guanciale is naturally, like I'm assuming everybody's had bacon, it's pretty salty, so I it's similar so. to that. So we don't really need to add a whole lot of salt to this, just yeah. a little bit of fresh. Because you kind of have two bacon parts that yeah, you're bringing lots, back together. <laughs> yep, yeah, lots of salty stuff in here. So um, yeah, we'll just stir that around and then this will be ready to go. So what do you think that our viewers should know about this restaurant? Like if they've never been to Velvet Buffalo, what would you, what's your, what would you think the, the atmosphere is? What do you think the dishes um, represent? Well, we try, when we're coming up with the menu, we try to source locally. Um, we try to keep things as simple as possible. So good quality ingredients and don't, you know, don't mess with it. So like this <laughs> is a good example. It's like five ingredients, but uh -huh. we buy high quality stuff, cook it well, and you know, kind of let it speak for itself. Right, as a sous chef, yep. before we go, I know we're going to go into the bakery yeah. in a second. What is your favorite item on the menu? Um, we just put a chicken parmesan on the menu. We were sort of hesitant <laughs> to put that on, um, but it's really good. So it's entire chicken breast, pounded out, breaded over a big old bed of spaghetti with uh, uh, half of a ball of uh, burrata made oh from my uh, gosh, you buffalo sold milk. Yeah, my favorite super good. Yeah. I also like desserts though, so I think Megan will have some for me too. Cool. Yeah, so I, don't know, I can throw this in here if you guys want. Um, and then another cool component of this that isn't totally typical, we add, um, these are cured egg yolks that we make here, and then we okay. smoke these too, so this sort of just gets rained over the top. I thought that was a cookie. A little more <laughs> fresh cheese. And a little bit more black pepper. Just a little. And that yeah. is our bucatini carbonara. Voila. So we've moved into the dining room with Megan, the pastry chef, who has brought these gorgeous items. I don't even want to speculate what they are because I'm going to get them wrong. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you made, Megan. So this is our non traditional uh, tiramisu. Okay. What makes it non traditional is that we use a chocolate sponge instead of lady fingers. Mm -hmm which adds that depth of chocolatiness that everybody absolutely loves. Um, and then on top of it, we have our choco whip with some cocoa nib crumbles. Okay, so that's all right here. Yep, that's all of that. And then right here, that is a hazelnut praline cookie um, that is dipped in powdered sugar. And then over here, we have our uh, mocha gelato. I was hoping. Yes, <laughs> always. I mean, chocolate and coffee, yeah. they go perfectly together, and there's, there's no better. What's on the bottom? That is a chocolate sponge that is dehydrated to give a little bit of crunch, because, I mean, you got to have a little bit of crunch, a little bit of creaminess. It's delicious. What's your favorite thing to eat that's on the dessert menu? Do you have a favorite? Um, 
I'd probably have to say the apple crostata. It's so delicious. It's it's absolutely <laughs> tiramisu is fantastic to eat as well, 100%. Well, Megan, thanks for bringing me dessert. It is my favorite. Part of the meal. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love dessert? It's the best. It's 100% best part of the meal. <laughs> oh, that food was so good. And we have your chance to head over to Velvet Buffalo, which is inside Hotel Goodwin in Beloit. You can enjoy a charcuterie board. Just enter to win right now at GoodDayStateLine.com. We'll be right back with a trip to Anchor Harvey. The preceding segment was sponsored by Velvet Buffalo.